How's it going, y'all? My name is Aiden Anderson, and this is the Moscow Minutes. The date of this recording is October 5th, and in this video, I'll be bringing you the highlights from both the Moscow City Council meeting and Latah County Commissioner meetings from the week of October 1st, 2023. Let's get into it. This week featured another short meeting with the Moscow City Council. With Mayor Art Betke absent, Council Member Maureen Laughlin guided the Council through the meeting's action items. To start, a proposed repeal of Chapter 10, Title 5 of Moscow City Code related to streetlight utility fees. A recent decision in a judicial case in Lewiston has thrown into question whether it is lawful for the city to collect a public streetlighting fee. The council voted unanimously to repeal the city's streetlighting fee from city code until legislative or judicial action clearly establishes the fee's legality. To follow that, the council also voted unanimously to amend the fee resolution for fiscal year 2024, both to remove the now repealed street lighting fee, as well as to defer the proposed sanitation rate increases for this year based on new information from the recent rate study. With that, the council went through reports, where each council member gives an update as to what they've been up to recently, and then adjourned for the evening. The county was a good bit busier this week, with a whole morning of meetings with the heads of county departments to receive updates and consider potential upcoming agenda items. This week, the commissioners met with the heads of ITS, Fairgrounds, Planning and Building, Probation, Disaster Services, Grants, Facilities, and Solid Waste. They also held a quarterly meeting with the public defenders and held a consideration of the L1 Certificate of County levies for the taxing districts for this tax year. The commissioners then dealt with a number of action items. Highlights from those include the approval of an alcoholic beverage license for silos and social, the approval of three professional services contracts with public defenders, and the approval of a number of infrastructure and software agreements with entities such as ADCOM, Computer Arts Inc., TDS Telecom, and Access Idaho. They also approved the polling locations for the consolidated elections taking place on November 7th this year, for which the cities of Kendrick and Julieta have been assigned to the same polling location located in Julieta. With these action items having been approved, the commissioners moved on to a series of afternoon meetings, including their weekly review, where each of the commissioners gives an update as to what they've been up to recently, executive sessions for attorney-client communication, personnel, and indigent meetings, a discussion regarding the Cedar Ridge Road project, and a discussion with former commissioner Shirley Green regarding disaster services which the Church of the Nazarene might be able to provide. And that concludes this week's set of local government meetings. As always, we'll have the relevant links posted with this video, and if you have any questions, let us know. This is Aiden Anderson with the Moscow Minutes. See you next time.